We were having a debate the other night if this was annoying or not. I'm on the fence because it is kind of... I haven't made a video for a while. Um, thought I'd throw one up there on the YouTube. This is my lovely COVID hair. Everybody's got some, or at least what's left of it anyways. Um, I guess everybody's doing what they can. Uh, be in the times and whatever, and we haven't, this is my COVID beard. Um, haven't done a video for a while. I've been pretty busy just dealing with some stuff. Uh, work stuff, car stuff. Haven't really made a video, some things have gone on, but uh, let me show you around a little bit. Uh, the car's up in the air, so we can show you what, uh, sort of what we've done. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Car's back on the frame. The frame, body was off the frame. Um, I'll put some pictures in there. So you can see from the pictures that we put the Monte Carlo clip in, uh, put the Monte Carlo rear end in, uh, and then just threw back on the body. The LS motor is literally just sitting in there, uh, just resting. Um, put the body back on just for me to, yeah, there's my gross welds. Um, by the way, I do not like weld through primer and that's what caused all those disgusting welds. So. I may grind most of that out and redo them. But. Um, so, put the body back on just to see some fitment, see how things were gonna go. Um, so there's the Monte Carlo rear end, um, crafted into place, sitting down. It's actually sitting on these blocks here at the moment. I had it on threaded rod, but I guess when I was setting it down and shaking it around and all that stuff, it bent the threaded rod. I guess it's a little bit too much there. You can see the piece of threaded rod there on the one side just hanging. Um, so it was a little bit too much. Um, but that's where the um, six inches to the frame, which is what those back blocks are. Um, these are my tires, 670 15s. They're in a little bit far with those wheels. Um, they look kind of silly, I think, but um, this fender is also just floating there in the front so maybe once that's tucked up in um, but I think I might need some wheel spacers or some different wheels or something but I think the offset is too far in um, so I think that we may need some different offset wheels but that's where we're at with that the um, the front clip is sitting here um, ready to go just be hung back on just for some Fitment issues. Um, I haven't cut the front frame sections off until I get that on. Because uh, it's going to end up with these stiffening bars. I may have to lose those um, and get rid of that. That's part of the Monte Carlo SS stuff. Um, so I may have to, unfortunately, lose those bars. But we'll see. Once I get that front end on, uh, you can see the LS motor is literally just sitting in there. Um, that is a truck oil pan, which is obviously no bueno. Um, so that's going to have to go and get a lower oil pan. But the motor does need to go up quite a bit. Um, turns out now that it's sitting this low, I'm going to need to tunnel the center of the car. Um, just basically raise the center up. There's not much tranny hump on these cars. 
Um, the floor is almost flat, so I'm gonna have to raise all that up. Um, the training needs to go up a bit higher, just compared to where it's sitting on the rear end. The rear end is hitting the um, body right now, so if I tried to air this out, which it will be getting airbags, if I tried to air it out, it's gonna hit the body even more, so I need to, to tunnel that and get it all fixed up. So, um, this is actually sitting a little bit low in the front, but basically that's where it's gonna be sitting. The arms are nice, a little bit too flat, but like I said, it'll be up just a touch, so they're down just a little bit. But everything is uh, really lined up real well. I'm happy with that. As you can see, I still have a section of the, this is the Monte Carlo frame where the lower control arms mount to, so I've still gotta clean that up a little bit. Weld that to the um, Merc frame here, um, but that intentionally is not done. Once I get the body back off again at some point, um, I will flip the frame over and weld all that up and fix all that up. But um, I've got body mounts coming so I can sit this down a little bit. And um, once it's sitting down on there, uh, depending on what's going on, I may chop the top. Um, I may do that next. Um, I've got a bunch of steel to brace up the body. Um, so I may get that braced up and, and chop that. We'll see where we go. Have to chop up a bit of this floor. Um, get rid of this ugly spare tire hump because hot rods, who cares about spare tires? But yeah, we've got quite a decent amount of clearance in here. Um, so I won't really have to play with the actual tunnel in around the rear end. And that was planned, but I wouldn't have to do that. It's just through the center section. So just the center section of the car, I have to cut that out. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll throw some more pictures in here of the frame being done and the body in the air and all that kind of nifty stuff. But, um, we will uh, reconvene at a later date. Thanks.